The Sims here and welcome back to the channel and today I bring to you the Sims 4 City Living trailer review. So in this trailer we're definitely just going to be going through um, just some frames of the original trailer and talking about some items and things and seeing how it can just enhance our gameplay finding these things through the trailer this is my first time doing this type of video so if this video is something that you liked and you enjoyed and you'd like to see more like this just let me know in the comments down below and we'll be gucci so um let's go ahead and go to our first frame so in this first frame um we see um a lot something that i'm really um liking is the i guess you can call them foundation windows but the, i guess this is foundation and we actually have basement windows so that is one of the first things that really caught my attention the first time I saw this. Also, this is a brownstone. Like, how city is that? Um, I really like the addition of the telephone poles and the graffiti on the sidewalk. As you can see, they're all highlighted in pink. I also like um, the Metro Center um, map. So I, we don't know if this is working. We don't know if it's real. But we see several hints of this Metro system, which is really nice. Um, also, this uh, there's a ton of new tattoos, it looks like, or they just could be just recolors, but we have some nice decorative, colorful tattoos that can definitely be used in game. Um, one thing that I'm really liking about this new expansion pack is the cultural diversity and the differences. We're, we see a lot of fashion dealing with um, the Asian background as well as the Indian background. So, um, and, and you see a lot of urban life, which is great. So it kind of gives... Um, more diversity and more um, gameplay and content when we have things like this to see. Um, in this next frame, we see um, these two ladies running, getting their health on. Yes, girl. Um, but we also see like this little energy power efficiency thing. It might not be um, something that we can function with, but it's nice to see a lot of decorative pieces. Again, on this lady head, we see head wraps. So I think we definitely see turbans. Um, we see um, head wraps and we also see a lot of Asian fashion and designs of things, especially in architecture and things like that. So um, I just thought that this was really nice. Also, we see the, uh, the buildings in the back that are also featured in Newcrest. So yes. Um, in this next film, this is what this was the 10 second film that was released yesterday um, before the actual um like official trailer came out so again we see the subway map we also see some gorgeous tattoo and a miniature man bun i'm always down for the man buns like super cute um we also see this girl um with a nice max's match hairstyle i have to say i'm, I'm really liking that um with the map and again we see hints of that metro system in the back um in this next frame what I find to be interesting about this is definitely um, the fact that you can build, put plant life and things on top of this penthouse. So it has been it has been leaked or I don't know, it can't be leaked anymore, but it has been revealed that you can use the top lot, your penthouse lot as um, a regular lot if it was on ground or things like that. You also see like a little peak of the, I guess a bridge or a gap down here, which is really, really nice. So. Um, it's nice to see stuff like that. It's nice to see um, that you can build and you can put a pool down on a penthouse, which is great because in Sims 3, you barely could put that on a jacuzzi without a cheat. So it's really nice to see things like that. Um, from this overhead view, we kind of see um, how lots are going to be set up, kind of similar to Windingburg um, and magnolia promenade with this bank type thing we do see some foundation pieces um it's not it hasn't been revealed if we're going to be getting const constrained floor elevation in this pack but it's nice to see the town actually has some levels the city um one thing that i really like about this was all of the billboards and advertisements you even see like some cranes and stuff in the background so it's nice to see that this actually looks like a city really cool you see some graffiti on the wall these could resemble windows or garage doors there was a render photo with garage doors on them so um it's nice to see that this is an open world that park looks like it's an open world or it could be a separate lot either way it's nice to see these um lots very jam-packed together really cool in this next frame we see a lot of uh graffiti so there's graffiti on the wall there's street graffiti i'm kind of hitting back to sims 3 with the um stuff that was released in sim 3 university life so it's nice to see 
some graffiti going on in this, even some of the city, which is pretty nice. I'm loving the flags up here. Nice to see more decorative objects, as well as this trim around this tree. That's really, guys, I've been staring down these photos, like no joke. So nice to see the trim around the tree. So definitely some more fun, funky designs. Really excited about what's to come. In the next frame, we have here a street artist and there's something else. Oh, the fountain in the background is really, really cool. I think this is new hair. Mm, I don't know. Y'all know I use CC. So this is a nice mesh. Thank you, Guru. Um, but I do like the fact that we see the street artist here. We see um, playing for tips, um, guitars, suitcases, and I think this is a mic or maybe a little light post or whatever. Really, really nice to see. Um, and we got some funky graffiti on the back of this. I guess bench, yeah, back of the bench. Um, really nice to see people in the city conversing and being being lively. Um, we also see some frames that can hit at a new career. I'm assuming this will be our new politics career. There's rumors to be three, which is a critic's career, social media, and politics. So it's not. It would be nice to see what the critic is critic criticizing. Maybe music. I hope it can be food, paintings. Um, uh, maybe you can decide what you criticize, which will be really, really cool and really nice. But here we see something of the politics career. And in this next frame, we see a lot dealing with protesting. That was very popular in Sims 3. I'm not, I think Sims 2 as well, but it looks like we have some global warming or some global love, peace, harmony, and all that goodness. Um, and again, another hint of a, at a tattoo. So looking really good. I'm, I wasn't really focused on the clothing, but this next picture, boom, baby, has me focused. I love the pants. I love the shoes. Um, I, I really think that this this um, fashion here, you can call it whatever you like. You can call it urban. You can call it street fashion. I just think it looks really nice. I'm really loving the armband. It really gives um, great detail. But these pants are god. I love them. I love the belt. I can't wait for recolors. I hope the CC creator god and gods and goddesses are looking at this because this is just yes, honey. And again, another picture of the head wrap. We also have this golden astronaut who is posing as life sculpture. So maybe a new, maybe um, living art or body art. I think art should definitely be a main focus in this pack. There's a lot of um, artisticness and urban city art that goes unrecognized so it's happy to see things like this we also see a lot of funky outfits we got this man in the back with some platinum blonde hair and some patchy paint splattered suits and things like that we see steam grates and a lot of city detail that i really appreciate this bridge in the background again this metro rail system um really really nice also get a hint of little kids clothing and some advertisements so really cool to see that. Another skill that will be introduced in this new pack will be basketball. We see a basketball set. I'm pretty sure it's just a court and a, a, a hoop that comes together on one connected item. Um, and hopefully that's a skill that can be um, gained and not just part of the athletic skill or maybe even a hitting skill. Um, and again, you see more graffiti in the background, more colorful decor. So they're really, they're really going, it, it's really looking really good. And it looks like um, the movie stuff pack, the backyard stuff and the kids stuff pack will match really well with the items provided in this new expansion pack. So again, here you have the shot of the basketball court you have people in basketball attire i'm really loving this girl's um pants i don't know if they're jeans or leggings but i just thought they were super cute and again we see a lot of the foundation windows things like that and that little ac thingy over there we do have like this tree trim that is starting to become very popular also is that a basket over there possibly picnics i don't know um we also see ac units out the window so definitely adding to the city life we have the happy couple here who we saw in the trailer who are kissing and everything is beautiful and lovey-dovey and then the power goes out so we have power surges um in our new apartment which looks really cool they they're happy and then they're sad um so we see them in their new apartment looks i like the new uh stacked suitcases as an end table that looks really cool loving the hairstyle and the shirt honestly i would use it so i like that we have power surges or we have like uh utility boxes um it really adds to living in a city life and how that goes 
In the next frame, something really important about this frame is that this lamp already exists in the game. So someone recently just retweeted saying, is this like, uh, do we have create a style? Is there, are they introducing a new way of adding patterns to things? Cause as you can see, um, some of this stuff has really recognizable patterns in the game that are patterns that are already in the game that we could be adding to furniture. So does this mean create a style is near? Who knows? But again, we see um, a nice shirt um, hinting at our, at the Asian culture, Asian influences in our fashion and, and architecture. And we also see the use of video games, which is really cool and nice. Don't understand why it wasn't in the base pack, but I'm happy to see that it is here. In the next pack we have, or next pack, uh, the next frame, we actually have something I'm really excited about. I can delete the CC once it gets here, but we have a one tile computer desk. So this is um, just one tile, it's not two wide, two by one, it's actually one by one tile desk. I'm really excited to see um, new compact living furniture. So yes, you're in an apartment, uh, apartments aren't very big in the city. Um, so seeing furniture that has different um, use and different value that can function for more than one thing is really awesome. Again, we see some new beds, hallelujah. We see new beds, new end tables, new candle lights, and this three piece painting is really nice. Again, these curtains don't have this style on them, but they're in the game. And this style that I think is on a bed. So could create a, create a style definitely be making a return in this expansion pack? We shall see. Here's the crazy man with a suit. Um, oh, it actually was like flowers or something. And as you can see from this little hint in here, we have an up and down button hitting, hint, oh my gosh, I cannot speak. An up and down button hinting at a elevator. And we got our cool suave dude coming off there. Um, there are pictures of an elevator later in the uh, video, so just stay tuned. So we have, it looks like our landlord is pretty fed up with the music coming from it. We also see the addition of trash shoots. And here, this is where the penthouse is, where you can use this lot as any lot you would like. But it says that it, it is it has been leaked that the flats inside of the apartment, so say you're on the first floor or the second, you have a lot of building restrictions. But if you're on the penthouse, you are free to use this lot however you may like. So that's really nice to see. Also, the uh, these windows are gorgeous. I'm loving them. Kind of a little bit on the... Um, of the Asian architecture, but I really think that, I think a lot of Asian influences are really in a lot of cities. So it's really nice to see that they included that and they thought about it. It's happy, I'm happy to see diversity in this pack. It looks really cool. Um, in this next pack, you'll see here, this is our full shot of the elevator or the, the closest we could get. Um, we see a lot of um, shots of this elevator, which is nice. Something that I'm a really a little hesitant about was that we didn't see any new kitchen items. I would have liked to see maybe a half towel or a stove that was small enough to be an, considered a half towel stove, which are very popular in a lot of major city living apartments. Um, I would have loved to see some uh, air ducts and things like that. Maybe it's stuff they haven't released us yet, but to see it in the trailer would have been nice. I'm just hoping that those things actually do exist. And here's the full shot of the apartment. Again, we see another new bed, I'm assuming. Um, we also see these colorful floral um, carpets. I'm not, I haven't really, um, I couldn't decide, or not decide, I couldn't tell if they were one object or four colorful rugs that come together. I hope they are by themselves because it is, it is really, really nice. I really, really like that. Um, I was really interested to see what this one tile room was, but it was darkened out, so I really couldn't take a look at it. But I am very interested to see what that is because we don't have a bathroom in this house, it doesn't look like, and I don't know what that is. So could one tile bathrooms be returning? Who knows? Um, we do see a new fireplace here, tons of colors and new added additions from all of the build and buy mode C, C well not CC, uh, regular content. <laughs> um, and here is where we get to see a, a little bit more of the fashion in depth. Um, we see uh, some beautiful headbands and beautiful uh, gowns and attires. And you even have a hint of this urban life with this long robe and a lot of like graphic tees and artistic designs over clothes and furniture is really nice. Also the candle 
the candle light in the back is really gorgeous. I'm really liking it. And another close up view of these windows look really good. And now we have our hookah machine, AKA the bubble blower bash, whatever. We know it's hookah. And it's nice to see that it's making a return. Again, you see more of the head wraps and the turbans that are coming about, which is really nice to see. And more colors, beautiful chairs, and things like that. Um, and then we have a night shot of the city, which is really where my interest really peaks. We see windmills, we see cranes, we see the outer banks, and it just looks really nice. And it looks really real, which is really nice to see in The Sims 4. Um, so that just really, that really took me by surprise. Um, the next thing we see here, we have a park. Um, one thing that piqued my interest definitely were the string lights. Hopefully those are separate where we could hang those on walls and have them for parties and things of that nature. Um, really nice to see. Also, we see more floral designs on the ground. Um, and I'm not sure what this little thing over here is. It looked like a little merry girl. Oh, it's actually a bubble, bla bubble bash. We see some poofs, which are really nice. We saw the introduction of poofs in the spa day pack. Really nice to see them in this new pack as well. And we also see our Asian food stands or there's, that's the only one we saw, but there's rumors to be um, actually Greek food and um, Indian cuisine at these food stands, which is really nice. Hoping that these would just be around the city and not something that we have to place. Hoping they're just really convenient for us. And here we see a close up of one of those food stands. Um, we see a little buffet thing or uh, something close to get to work bakery style um, refrigerators where there's food in there. So hopefully maybe that's something we could play on. Maybe adding it to dine out, um, things like that. So this, this pack really does look like it's incorporating a lot of stuff that we can use with other expansion packs as well. You also see another stand back there with lights on it that are not included with the stand. So it looks like we may be able to use those lights without um, having posts around them, as well as these yellow and pink lights in the background. They look really nice. So definitely loving to see that we can add some new some newness to our game and all hail the braids you guys know i love my braids i'm so happy to see a new braid mesh coming with this pack and again more tattoos but the main thing i wanted to talk about in this frame was the braids i'm loving that sims are actually incorporating braids i think it's something that we need more of um we definitely need more everything when it comes to diversity in the sims but this pack definitely hushed a lot of people who were saying sims were not diversifying their content so really happy to see um a new braid mesh and i'm really excited for the recolors that's about to happen with the cc um and here we see something of a food eating contest very similar to the festival packs that were or festivals that were happening in sims three seasons um it has been said that there are three new festivals a uh, love festival i believe there's an asian cuisine festival and one more that i'm not sure of if i find it i'll blink it on the screen so you can see it but there's three new festivals coming up and it's really it was really nice to see um some braids and some more new content these lights are gorgeous everything about this pack is beautiful i'm really loving it we even have some shots of karaoke here where um your sim could come out and blow the town away one thing i did realize in the pack is well in the trailer they muted the voice or we couldn't really hear her singing um so that kind of gives it away that everyone's gonna sound the same um I, I think that's gonna happen. It happened with Showtime, it'll happen again. But I do like the use of karaoke and having karaoke night is definitely a new function that you can take part of. Um, the beautiful fireworks that is really nice, but one thing that slayed me was this new Max's Match hair or whatever hair you wanna call it. I think it's gorgeous. I like that it wraps around and it's gonna look really nice. But adding fireworks to the city definitely gave me a little bit. This pack definitely had a little bit of Sims 3 um, seasons with coming coming with all the festivals and parties that happen with it it definitely reminded me of seasons and in this frame here we see um, some new kids outfits um, we see sparklers which are very very nice and again those patterns on the floor and those lights in the background so with that being said the new pack will be available November 1st let me know in the comments down below what exactly are you excited to see because I am ready for it all um, and with that being said, I currently have a poll running on Twitter, but I'm going to ask you as well on YouTube with that new pack coming out and with all the evidence that we've seen and all the new features that we can play with, what do you want to see? Would you like to see a new city LP? Would you like to continue with the ongoing, um, uh, 
LPs that's on my channel. They're not going anywhere, just so you know. And um, I have mentioned a couple of times on my channel about starting the royalty challenge. So how are you feeling about that? Should we start two separate LPs? Should we put the royalty challenge on the back end or should we incorporate them into one? LP, let me know what you guys are thinking. It's been so great and so lovely to share all of this beautiful content with you guys. If I've missed anything that you think is beneficial for me that you think I should know, please let me know in the comments down there, guys. You guys know what to do. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was super helpful. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to stay beautiful, stay lovely, and have a grand, grand day. Bye, guys.